Last year, we brought you the story of Stacy Carr, a West Michigan mother with a severely disabling pain condition. It's actually rated as the most painful condition. It's called the suicide disease because most people will commit suicide over not having correct treatment. At the time, she was trying to get specialized surgery, a new kind of prosthetic for her leg to ease a great deal of the pain. 13 on your side, Zelina Holland met up with Stacy again weeks after she had that life-changing procedure. There's the fun moms. Go to the zoo. Go jump with friends at the jump park. The cool moms. Oh, us, yes. <laughs> the active moms. You better run because I'm coming. <laughs> and Stacy Carr can now be them all. She's just way happier. After a life-changing surgery. It feels as close to normal as I'm going to get. 18 years ago, at just 19 years old, Stacy fell down the stairs, crushing her foot and ankle. 30-plus surgeries over 14 years. We decided to amputate for a quality of life in 2020. That one event caused her to go down a tough journey with pain. And pain makes you crazy, is like insane. She developed CRPS, or Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, a severely disabling condition. So the CRPS tells me that I'm constantly in pain even though I'm not. Her former prosthetic sitting right at the most painful spot, causing constant pain and difficulty moving. But hope sparked once again to be the mom she wants with the knowledge of a surgery called osseointegration. We just um, expose the bone and put an implant that kind of sticks through the skin and connect the prosthesis directly to um, our, our skeletal system. In early August, she flew to New York and had the surgery. So I got out of the car actually when I had it attached and the first thing my oldest says is, Mom, you have two feet! And she was so excited. The new prosthetic does not come off and basically serves as an extension of her own bone. And the biggest thing that's super cool is I can feel the ground coming through the skeletal system so I can tell if it's cement or if it's grass, or it's carpet, hardwood. It's it's life-changing. But the journey is not over. Three, four, five. Just like she once taught her girls, she has to learn to walk again. Moving the ball forward and back. There's been discomfort, but never any pain, which I thought was really different and odd. So this is strengthening, stability, coordination. My end goal is to be able to, like, do steps without the hand railing or be able to run a 5K. Of course, she handles all her challenges with humor. Gentle on the left knee. Right. No left. No, shut sure. <laughs> Because Stacy knows the hard work is still worth it. And you always want yourself to be better, but it, to do better for others and their life deserves to be easy and for as long as they can. Worth it for quality time with her family. Hiking. More fun stuff. With her new leg and her constant determination. It just makes me feel really, really happy that she feels better. She's really happy. Stacy will be the mom she always knew she could be. There's so much more to look forward to. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.